2017 BMW 330i. Now, what do you notice that's different with the air conditioning on this vehicle compared to conventional vehicles? Air conditioning. I'm hooked up. We have 51 PSI pressure inside the system. But look at here. There's no condenser. So how can I have 51 PSI of pressure having a full refrigerant system but no condenser? That's because the conventional type of air to refrigerant condenser that you're used to seeing on a car no longer exists on this vehicle. It's now a water heat exchanger. It's using a plate exchanger. So this is a plate exchanger. On the plate exchanger, you have the expansion valve, the receiver dryer, and water passages with a water pump that pumps the coolant through this unit right here, which is your water heat exchanger. So this has coolant in it, and all the heat uh, dissipation takes place within this heat exchanger. The water travels in one direction, the refrigerant travels in the other direction. Each one of these small lines is a plate and with refrigerant and water. Pardon the noise, it's a live shop. And that is how this system works with no refrigerant or no condenser with refrigerant except inside the water cold plate heat exchanger so when you're diagnosing high head pressure problems and other types of problems you will be diagnosing electric water pumps you will be diagnosing three-way water valves um, this will definitely throw some technicians for a loop searching for problems when it's not refrigerant related it could be coolant related and that's it on this one i'll finish up the recovery and uh, move on to the next vehicle no more condenser